Hello and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to share with you five great ways for finding inspirational ideas for your next creative project. My name is Derek Hunt and I'm a professional stained glass artist and I make inspirational videos and tutorials all about stained glass. And today we're talking about inspiration. I've developed five great ways for creating inspirational ideas and I'm going to share them with you now. If you're a creative, it doesn't matter what area of work you're in, whether you're a poet or a filmmaker or a stained glass artist, you're going to come up against the problem of the white paper syndrome. We've all had it, that blank sheet of paper, that blank piece of canvas where you've got to generate some ideas for your next project, the client's waiting, you've promised this great art project and then you've, you're sitting with a blank sheet of paper thinking, where am I going to start? How am I going to make this work? Point number one, clarify your design brief. You will have spoken with the clients, you will have discussed the project before you start the design phase. You will have learned what their aspirations and hopes are for the project, what they want that artwork to achieve, perhaps the elements that are that should be included in the design, maybe the colour palette, maybe the design style. Is it going to be ultra modern? Is it going to be an abstract piece? Is it going to lean towards a more traditional solution? You will have discussed these things with the client beforehand, even just in general terms, to get a sense of a design design brief. Constraint is really, really important when, when it comes to designing. If you've got, if you give yourself a free reign to design in any material and in any, any medium and use any technique to create the design idea, you can flounder because you're trying so many different things all at the same time. Constrain yourself to a design brief. Know what that design brief is before you start the design process. Point number two, Set aside some time and space for the design process. Know when you're at your most creative. For me, it's early in the morning. I do my best work and I have to be at my desk designing by 10 o'clock in the morning or the day is gone because I work best early in the morning. Now for you, it may be later in the day, it may be in the afternoon, it may be in the evening, it may be at two o'clock in the morning that those creative design ideas start bubbling away. So I know I have to set aside time and mentally clear my mind, get a good night's sleep the night before. I know I'm going to be designing that next day. Point number three, feed yourself with inspirational ideas. Look at art generated by other artists and look at artists who work in other mediums other than stained glass. I never really look at other stained glass artist solutions to designs. I tend to look for the solutions from artists who are working in different mediums. Painters, muralists, graffiti artists, filmmakers, anything to get a sense of a new direction of travel for your visual medium. It's really important to kind of expose yourself to lots of different feeds. I have a collections of books, I have libraries of books that I have in my studio and in my home that I pour over for inspirational ideas. Point number four, this is a really important one. Action comes before motivation. It's not the other way around. Start drawing, get things down on paper and you will find that the motivation comes. Accept that the first few designs that you create, they're gonna suck, they're not gonna be great. It's okay, don't panic, it's fine, it's part of the process because action comes before motivation. As you, as you do your designs, you will start to see some theme, some thread of an idea beginning to materialize. And when that starts to happen, that motivation then develops. That motivation starts moving you forward in a specific path, in a specific direction. So start designing, except it's not gonna be great to start with, and just keep going. Don't become disillusioned. This is where your design brief is really, really important because as you're doing your initial design ideas and they're not working out, you're still working to your brief because the more designs you do, the more you will realize that a crystallized idea starts to form on paper. That's when you can run with it. And you know that it's happening because you can see it. You think, yes, here's the kernel of an idea. This is the inspiration that I need to develop this further. Point number five, stick to the deadline and give yourself that deadline that is a manageable deadline. It's not too long, it's not too short. Generally, I, I find if I'm creating a new stained glass window, I've got to allow myself a week. I've got to allow myself a week in which to create that design. That's my deadline. And that has been a great lesson for me as well. It's not just 
leave it open-ended, not just allow yourself to sort of come back to a design, leave it for a few weeks and come back to it. The designs go cold, the ideas go cold in your head. Once you start, run with it. Run with it and know that there's a deadline and complete on that deadline time. So there we have it. The five key ways that I use to generate new inspirational ideas for my stained glass. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Please leave likes and suggestions for future videos and leave comments on ways that you find for generating inspirational ideas for your creative projects. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.